All right, now let's automate case management. So let's see what we have in our case management tools. First off, we have queues. So what are queues for? Automatically prioritize your support team's workload by creating lists from which specific agents can jump in to solve certain types of cases. So a general application of queues, if you are running a, um, a business in an organization, say you have a billing queue. The billing queue is just for handling billing questions. And then you have the sales queue, pre-sales, or after sales questions, everything that has to do with sales. And then you have the support queue or the technical support queue specifically to handle support questions or technical support questions. So with that, you have three queues you need to set up. The billing queues for handling billing related questions, payments, stuff like that. And then you have the sales or pre-sales or after sales, make it just one sale queue. And then your support or tech support queues. Makes sense, right? Next is assignment rules. Automatically assign incoming cases to specific agents. So this is already going to a specific agents, not a queue anymore. So that the right people work on the right cases, all right? There is um, numerous applications that you can use that, but we are going to talk about it below. Escalation rules automatically escalate cases to the right people when the cases aren't solved by a certain time. So it goes up to the next level. So maybe level one support. If level one is so busy, there are thousands of cases, and then it goes to level two after five hours of no response from level one and then go on level three and so on okay auto response rules automatically send personalized email responses to customers based on each case details so if this is the case about this this is the auto auto response rules you have an auto response email template specifically designed for a certain uh, type of cases all right that makes sense, right? So these are the good uh, table for planning for your um, case automation. Let's, let's go through it. Do support agents work as a team on specific issues? If yes, like some agents work off a list of emails like sales, um, billing, support, and then you can use queues. How is the support team structured? So, for example, you have tiered level support like gold support, platinum support, right? And then um, you can use queues for like gold goes to gold queues, platinum goes to platinum queues, or you can also use assignment rules to specifically assign to um, senior level um tech support agents if it's if it's platinum maybe a more knowledgeable or skillful agents if it's the higher level tier right makes sense do support agents work on specific products or have special skill sets for example if it's a salesforce platform um, if it's a sales cloud questions it will go to a sales cloud skilled um, tech support if it's a community cloud, it goes to a community cloud um, skilled staff. If it's a commerce cloud, it goes to the commerce cloud people, people who knows well about commerce cloud. If it's a marketing cloud, it goes to the marketing cloud staff or um, support staff. Makes sense, right? Support skill sets. Do cases need to escalate to someone if they are not solved by a specific time? If so, you want to go, uh, use escalation rules. If it's not being attended in five hours, escalate to level two, another five hours, level three, and so on and so forth. 
should customer receive automatic responses if you want to use automatic responses use the auto response rules um, same thing with this if you're escalating to level two you can automate that email to the customer saying your ticket has now been escalated to level two support please hold while it is being in the queue all right so before we go through these um, steps i want to go ahead and do these steps or the examples in our trailhead playground through going to the challenge so we don't have to do it twice for the same things right so let's go through the challenge all right um i'm gonna go right ahead through the challenge but feel free to do all of this on your own because basically we're going to do the same thing twice and feel free to read this um, additional things that you can uh, use with the case management which is important but it's not covered in depth in this particular trail so we are not going to discuss in depth but please feel free to read all of this all right so let's now go to the challenge create a case with assignment and escalation rule now you've launched an exciting new product named panel one and have trained a set of your agents to support it create a queue for panel one and an assignment rule to route cases that contains panel one to the queue also create an escalation rule to reassign any high priority panel one cases to you when they are not closed after 30 minutes all right first create a queue right create a queue with the name panel one for the cases object okay let's go ahead dive into our playground and our uh, we are on the surface setup right so first off we are going to create a queue let's search it on here queue let's make a new queue for the case object all right so we are going to select the case object over here and then i'm going to name this panel one Q email we don't we don't have we don't set this up for now and then select users Q members i'm going to select both me and jane doe so this is uh, how you set a queue so you name the queue and then you choose what object you want to assign this queue for and then you set the members so if you have a team of like staff that's very skilled in the panel one products right you assign those staff to the selected members of this queue so all cases um, for the panel one queue will go to this staff all right makes sense save so we have the panel one queue all right so let's go to the next step create an assignment rule with the name assigned panel one assignment rule to route cases to that queue okay next assignment rule make a new assignment rule assignment assign panel one i'm going to make that active and now so let's click on here assign panel one new rule so if you have multiple rules which one of the rules do you want to execute first this would be the first one if you have the second rule you can add another rule that would be the second one and third and so on okay so rule uh, run this rule if the criteria are met i'm gonna crank up the font here a bit boom boom so you can see better the description so the case description if it contains panel one right let's double check contains panel one it's going to a queue not a user and the queue is panel one queue 
all right we don't have an email template so i'm going to leave that blank for now now if you want to create multiple rules you can do so and this is the sort order you can rearrange how is in, it is executing these rules all right so next up the escalation rule should escalate cases not closed for 30 minutes based on when the case is created and should use business hours specified on the case so escalation rule all right and then the escalation action should assign the case to you to yourself okay all right so let's go back here go to escalation rule it needs to be 30 minutes so new escalation rule make it active does it has to be named a specific one it doesn't say what you what we should name this escalation rule oh here panel one okay so name that panel one because it's a challenge they are going to find uh, this escalation rule by the name if they couldn't find the exact name you will fail the challenge so make sure panel one there so let's click on panel one rule new rule 30 minutes sort order first the same thing this is the first one executed so same thing if the description contains panel one use business hours specified on the case and when when the case is created yeah the first one right it says when the f based on the, when the case is created all right when the case is created here so we're good i'm gonna hit save that And then the action is 30 minutes assigned to you. Age of thir uh, 30 minutes. Age over 30 minutes here. One. After 30 minutes, assign the rule to you. To Jimmy. Okay. So you can, um, you can assign a template here. The notification template. And you can uh, notify an additional user. So I'm going to notify myself as well. And then notify case owner. Sure. If we want to do that. And you can also enter up to five additional emails on who will be notified as well. Okay. Save that. We still need to choose a template. So I'm just going to choose a template. case assignment notification here save so we're done we have created a queue and an assignment rule and an escalation rule and then both escalation rule and assignment rule is active all right let's get the point let's see if we get this right bada bing bada boom Woohoo! Assessment complete. I'll see you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.